In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to repair a broken PVC pipe that's buried in the ground. Now the method I'm about to show you, I myself have used for many years. I've saved a lot of money using this method and I have made a lot of money repairing PVC pipes using this method. This method is especially useful if you do not want to dig up four or five feet of the pipe in order to be able to lift it up, to insert a coupling, to push it back down into the ground. You may also have the problem that there's a sidewalk nearby or a foundation that the pipe goes under. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to repair that pipe without digging it all up. And you can use this method for half inch pipe all the way up to two inch pipe. Now to show you how to do this, I put a cut right here in the pipe. Now sometimes when you hit this with the shovel, it will break around straight down and only be about that wide the crack as it waves around. Or sometimes the crack may become wider. If the crack is wider, you're going to have to cut back a little further, maybe about five or six inches, because you're going to have to take a coupling, and you're going to have to put a coupling in with another section of pipe before you repair where it broke. So in order to repair this pipe without digging it completely up out of the ground, you're going to need two couplings that match the size of the pipe. So if the break is right over here, where that blue mark is, what I'm going to do is cut a little further back, You can cut the PVC pipe using a hacksaw, a PVC pipe cutter, or you can use something like this that uses friction to burn through the pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little further back over to here, right where the end of this dark line is, and make a cut. Dig out a little bit more of the dirt and sand to be able to get the hacksaw in there. All right, so let me go in here, make a cut. Once you cut here, the next thing you're going to do is find where the crack ends. It may go a little further than what you see, so I would cut a little further out. So let's go about a half inch after the crack. We're gonna cut that out. Alright, so this is where it was cracked, right here. Take the ends, make sure they're nice and clean. Both sides. Alright, take a little bit of sandpaper, just clean off the, the burr on the end of the pipe. Good. Do the same on this one. Just clean off the burrs. Let me hold that. Push that back so you can see. Clear a little bit of soil or sand out of the way. The next thing you're going to do is take a coupling glue it onto the pipe that you cut over here, push it all the way down till it meets the stop, take a new section of pipe that's not damaged, you're going to measure it so that when it goes into this pipe right here, it's going to end up flush on this side, or just a little bit of room for you to be able to put the pipe in and out. Now before I glue this, it's an excellent idea to use a slow setting PVC cement for this job. Regular setting cement will work fine, Whatever you do, do not use fast setting cement. If you use fast setting, you may screw up the repair. So regular setting or slow setting PVC cement is ideal. Put a little cleaner on here. All 
right. Do the same on the coupling. Take your PVC glue. All right. And push it all the way onto the pipe flush and hold it until it sets. About 15 seconds, you can let go. All right. Before you glue this section of pipe into that coupling, what you're going to have to do next is take the other coupling and you're going to take a Dremel with a grinding stone and you're going to go in there and grind away the stop. If you don't want to use a Dremel with a grinding stone, what I used to do is carry a small half round file about that wide and it doesn't take long to take a half round file and eliminate that stop. You want to make this a full slip. So that's what you have to do with that. The beauty of this repair is that you do not have to spend a lot of money on compression type connectors or expandable connectors with O-rings. There's no need for that. You could spend around 50 cents on two couplings or a dollar depending on the size and have this repair taken care of. Once you remove the stop from the PVC pipe, we will now carry on by installing this section of pipe. Put a little bit more PVC cleaner in here. Always use the cleaner. It softens the PVC and you get a better bond. Now I'm cleaning this end, but I'm also going to put a layer on this end right now. Now to install the pipe, it's very easy. You're going to have to either pull up a little bit on this pipe or push it down or do the same on this pipe in order to allow the pipe to slide into that fitting. So now I'm gonna get the glue ready on this side. Put a nice layer. Do the same inside the coupling. I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna lift up on that pipe and push down on the other one and slide it in and twist. All right. So as you can see now, this is very close contact right here. We'll let that set a minute before I carry on and show you how to join the two together. Now while this is setting for a minute, what I'm going to do is take the coupling that we had. You want to judge where the center of the coupling is and just put a little bit of a mark on the pipe. Very easy. Right there would be about center. Just do it on the one side. I'm going to put a little bit of cleaner here and stay before my mark in that area. Make sure there's no sand to get onto the on this thing. You don't want this thing getting sand on it. Put a good layer there. So the edge of my blue is pretty much where I'd want to go with the coupling. This is a great method. I've never had a problem with it. I'll let that soak in. Put a little bit more in this pipe. Now we're ready to complete the job. You're going to want to dig out a little bit of sand just above the pipe. Reach in with your finger. Go in as long as your finger, maybe three inches or so. And then on this side, you may want to dig under it so you can push down. Take the coupling that has the stop removed. You can see there's no more stop. Put plenty of cleaner in there. All right, get that really, really good. You want to apply plenty of glue all over the section of pipe here, all over the section here, and all over inside this coupling. Do the coupling first, put a nice layer, put it on heavy. You're going to put it on here, all the way around, put it on this pipe too, all the way under. Make sure you get underneath. Now you're going to lift on that, slide it all the way past, and slide it all the way back. It's a little messy, but it works. That will set and it will not come out. This right now has had time to set. 
and it's all one piece. Right over there is my blue mark where I made with the pen. So I know the coupling is exactly where I wanted it. It's halfway onto this pipe and it's halfway onto the one that was broken. So your brake was right here, which you repaired, but you had to go a little further back with another coupling to be able to get rid of all of the damaged area. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you very much for watching.